And I do train my neck that day as well. I know you wrestled. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell very easily looking at somebody whether or not they need neck work or not. If your neck kind of comes down right where your jaw is, mm -hmm. you don't need to do a lot of neck work, yeah. right? You don't look like a head placed on top of a little neck. Your neck is actually, you know, Laird Hamilton's neck is out <laughs> to his, the lobes of his ears, genuinely, yeah, right? Yeah, Danny yeah. Way, great skateboard yeah, too. He yeah. trains his neck quite a lot. He broke his neck surfing yeah, yeah, yeah. years ago. So having a strong neck, why is that so important? Well, it's important because you want a strong spine and it's the upper portion of your spine. The other thing that I notice that it does is it completely changes my psychology to train my neck. I just naturally stand more upright. Yeah. I find it easier to look people in the eye. It's not hard for me to look people directly in the eye when I speak to them, but I find I just have like my posture and presence is just better mm -hmm. in a chair or standing when I train my neck. And I think it's because my head isn't, let's just use the word again. It's not, you know, flaccid falling of the chin <laughs> towards the chest. <laughs> that word just freaks everybody out. You want flaccid feet. You don't want yeah, a flaccid yeah, neck. Yeah. So neck work is very important. How do you work your neck? I actually recently bought, I've been thinking about it for decades. I bought a four-way neck machine. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, I got Wait, on, you got the full four-way neck I machine? I was going to get like a hammer or one of these giant contraptions. I actually bought, and look, do your homework, folks, because you can hurt yourself on these things mm -hmm. if you get too aggressive too quickly. I bought a four-way neck machine on Amazon for 350 bucks. I was like, you know what? Let me try this before spending like mm -hmm five grand works great. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing yeah. fancy, but it, you have it great works. proportions. I mean, why do I say this? It's not just about aesthetics. It's about in general, balanced proportions are synonymous with balanced strength, which is synonymous with not getting injured. Yeah. You know, one of the things that looks ridiculous and frankly is ridiculous. You see these guys with big delts, wide shoulders, you know, long clavicles and their head is placed on this little just neck. A popsicle on a stick. Well, and they look especially <laughs> ridiculous. There's no other word for it yeah. in street clothes. Yeah. You see, you know, like this, it looks mutant and not in the good sense. So strong neck is great. Strong neck has helped me also avoid injuries in a number of sports. It's life insurance if you do anything, any kind of martial art, or you drive a car, you know, been rear ended a car and felt fine, you know, a little bit of neck soreness, but train the upper spine and lower spine. So I do some neck work at the end. And the way I do it is take a plate, wrap it in a towel. So you don't end up with an imprint of the, the weight <laughs> number on your forehead. And I usually lie on my side and I'll do it somewhere in the 10 to 15 repetition range. I'll usually do one light warm up and then three work sets. How do you hold it on your head? You just, just rest just, it there. Just, yeah, just hold it with your hand okay. on your side. It also works your obliques somewhat. You're on a bench or on, on the ground? On a bench. Yeah. You have to be careful, you know, especially getting into and out of the movement. That's yeah. how you often get injured. And then I'll lie on my stomach. And this is probably the most important one. And I'll put the plate behind my head again, wrapped in a towel and do head raises. So this is the opposite of the text neck. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get your head sitting on top of your shoulders as it's supposed to, because mm -hmm. everyone now is kind of bent over in this kind of C shape and no one's nerdy enough except my good friend, Brian McKenzie, who cares enough about his posture. Shout out to Brian. He does amazing work and breath work and human performance. He, when he texts, he uses his phone up near his eyes. <laughs> I've seen that. So yeah. good. He's like, da, da, da. no one else does that, Brian. <laughs> so the neck work comes at the end, but is absolutely critical. And whenever I don't do it for a week or two out of laziness or, or just some other reason, I start getting postural things. You start noticing it elsewhere in your body. I find, and this could just be... I don't think it's placebo because it's not something that I expect, or maybe it is now, but not initially. Fewer headaches, just better circulation, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and better mobility also, especially if you're spending a lot of time in front of a computer. Mm -hmm. my, my rotation, even though I'm not actively training with resistance, the rotational aspect, left, mm -hmm. right, turning your head, the mobility of the neck sort of in all dimensions and the movement of the head seems to improve as well for me. And for folks, just one option I want to throw out there. If you train with someone or can train with someone, manual resistance. With a towel, someone say, yeah. With a towel or just like pressure on the head mm -hmm. and doing it really slowly, like super slow style, kind of like 10 mm -hmm. seconds, 10 seconds, is very effective also. Yeah. I can't overstate the importance of neck training. Now for women who often don't want the aesthetic of a larger neck, yeah. just use very, I would say lighter weights or, or hand-based resistance. You mm -hmm. still want the, that strength and balance. Some women might want a big neck, but in general, the two things that can, and you put throw, some of this in the floor. Throw a wig on Laird Hamilton. That's my type. 
I'm just telling, just putting it out there, ladies. <laughs> One thing that, in terms of aesthetics, the two things that I think can really throw off the most commonly desired female aesthetic by women from what they tell me, because I trained with a number of women, is excessive trap work, upper trap work, because mm-hmm. rounded shoulders and then larger neck. Some people might want that, but in general, that tends to be avoided. For guys, I think the the neck work is, you know, it's a, it, it's so essential. And for women, it, it's essential for a strength and, and protection of, of the joints reason. I will also say this, and anyone who wants to challenge me on this, will do it accordingly. It actually increases your confidence. And the reason is when you're upright, you embody a different stance. I'm a big mm. believer that the physical stances we embody have everything to do with the psychological stances we embody and vice versa. It's not just about standing up straight, being able to stand up straight, look people in the eye is is something that is assisted by actually having a head that, that isn't flopping forward all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So this is a a real thing from a number of standpoints. 